This is an instructional video prepared by the Los Angeles County Department of Public Works. My name is John Hickok and I work for our department's Survey, Mapping, and Property Management Division. Because this is the first of a series of videos created by the Survey, Mapping, and Property Management Division, we're simply going to call it video number SMP001. This video was created to instruct users how to navigate and download data from the Los Angeles County GIS data portal. GIS simply means Geographic Information Systems. What is GIS data anyway? After all, interactive websites like Google or Bing Maps are already part of our everyday lives. County departments like ours, while using GIS in our daily operations, readily share our GIS data with the general public. In this video, we're going to show you how to find and download some of this data. Next, we will examine the components of this data to show you exactly what you're downloading. In a following video, we will show you how to make a simple interactive map and set it up for hyperlinking. If you want to get data from Los Angeles County, it's as easy as going to a search engine. We're going to go to the Los Angeles County GIS data portal. There we go. It's at the very top of this list. Everything that you will find on Los Angeles County's GIS data portal is optimized for search, so finding stuff is very easy. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Logging in is not required if you're just looking for data, but if you would like to subscribe to RSS feeds or to leave comments, you can do it. All right, you'll notice up front, you will see a welcome message from our County Geographic Information Officer, Mark Greninger. We also have lots of data you can browse on the left by category. And if you can see, we have lots of data at Los Angeles County. We have data from all the various departments. We have links to agencies from at the federal and state level. We even have some cities have subscribed and are adding data to this uh, GIS data portal. But right now, we're just going to go to the upper right and search for some city boundaries. There we go. You'll see a number of search results on this data portal. We have city boundaries at the top, but we also have other information regarding cities like city and community boundaries. We have city annexations. LA City Council Districts, and the list goes on. But right now, we're just going to download some city boundaries. So let's click here. Up front, we get a brief description of this data. To the right, there is an image that gives us a preview of what this data looks like. Let's go ahead and expand the image by selecting it. The image reminds us that this download includes polygons representing the incorporated areas of each city while the lines are used to represent the boundaries themselves. Let's go ahead and download this data uh, while we take a look at the rest of what's on this data entry portal. Let's go ahead and download. City annexations and land records are links that have been provided to other parts of this portal for relevant information that will be useful. Further down below, we have data field descriptions because GIS is database management. These descriptions of attributes in the table are very important. Further below, we'll see information about where this data comes from, how often it's updated, and we have contact information about who is in charge of this data and if you have any questions. And of course, at the bottom, there's places where you can leave a comment. Now let's look at some GIS data components. Let's go to the folder where this data was downloaded. Notice that I can see my file extensions. And what I did is I went to Tools, Folder Options, View, and see where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. You simply uncheck that box, and that's how we're going to see everything. We have a city boundary zip file that has been downloaded from the GIS data portal. Let's go ahead and extract everything. Okay, let's wait for everything to extract. Notice that everything we have is prefixed by the word city or city lines. Everything prefixed by city is your polygons that shows the area incorporated. 
city lines are the boundaries themselves. Now let's look at the file extensions like DBF is your table in a format developed by a company called DBase. PRJ is your file projection. This small file helps your software know which coordinate system your data is in. Data projections can be in state plane, latitude and longitude, just name a few. Files ending with an extension of SBN, SBX, or SHX are the index files that help your GIS software run faster as you search for records. Shape.xml stores your metadata, which is information about the data, information like attribute field descriptions, how often it's updated, or who to contact is here. For your convenience, this same information is posted on the data portal as we saw earlier. And finally, SHP is your shape file, which contains your geometry with your points, lines, and polygons. This concludes our first video. Now that we've downloaded some GIS data and examined its components, our next step will be to use this data to make a map using free and open source software. This will be in the next video titled SMP002.